Hi, I'm Keith Merrill, Chairman of the Project Committee. I have with me the project team. I'd like to introduce Luke Goon, Nancy Acker, Larry Fiso, and Eric Long. Today we're here to update the Board of Directors, followed by you, the membership, uh, on what our project is doing and how it's coming along. Today we're going to update the project in, to you in three components. We're going to first talk about the Racket Center for the last time, then the administration building and the surrounding area, and then the golf clubhouse. So we're going to start off. Luke is going to talk to us about the Racket Center. Hi, Pelican Sounds. Well, here we are. This is your new Racket Center. Beautiful, beautiful space. We're just fi finishing up just a few little details to go, but it's already uh, completely ready to, for use, and we already inaugurated this uh, place two weeks ago. So. Many of you might have seen it already, and if you haven't, please come on out and come and check it out. So as promised, we have eight tennis courts and eight pickleball courts there in the back. Um, what makes this place really cool and, and unique is the layout, the way we have set up the tennis in combination with pickleball, um, the whole lands landscaping around this place, um, and the fact that everyone actually can see every single court as well as everything that's going on uh, in our racket center. And that's pretty unique if we compare that to other clubs. The other thing which makes this place special is that we have a clubhouse raised. And that gives all of us an opportunity actually to have that perfect view all over the courts. We have a big area that is covered. And we saw during the inauguration how many people we actually can fit underneath here. And in the back, we have an open patio area covered under the cells. But this facility is more than just a racket center. The huge patio allows us to bring a lot of people from the community here for community events, neighborhood events, and even individuals came out last Saturday with their potluck for having good social times. Um, the facility also has a meeting room, so a lot of people and the committees can use this facility for, for meeting room purposes. And we have a cold kitchen infrastructure for people to bring their foods, uh, for all the social events that they want to plan here. And I hear we have already five or six event plans for the next couple of weeks uh, here for catering events for all of us. So this is a, a facility, not just for the pickleball and the tennis players, but actually for all of us. I want to thank Luke for his update. It's a fabulous center and we should be proud of it. Next, we're going to talk about the administration building and what's going on in the surrounding area. Eric's going to give us the update on that. Hello everyone, I want to give you some updates on the administrative building. We have the final uh, construction bids ready to go. We have our final proposal and we're just do doing some fine tuning, but it looks like we're ready to go with moving forward. We'll plan on starting that part of the project in May. If we pan over here, you can kind of see the uh, floor plan. What we're really doing is giving a more welcoming experience for our members when they come into the offices. We'll be updating the carpeting. Um, and we'll also be painting the area and we'll also do an exterior uh, facade called EFIS around the exterior portion of it and really give it a nice look. We'll also be adding uh, two restrooms um, on the corner and that will be accessible for all the members to be able to use if they're coming off a sound or a river course and it's really going to be a great space for all to enjoy. We're located at the former tennis uh, area as you can see, we, we uh, have removed all the fencing, uh, lighting, all the posts, and have cleared the space. And we're really uh, looking for the future of this area. And potential use is uh, potentially a park um, that we can do our concerts in the park, maybe a movie night, and other uh, different items that may be accessible for all of our membership. Okay, here we are back at the Golf Center, and uh, we want to give you some updates on what's happening here in this building. First of all, I'll start um, with an update on the structural. If you'll recall, two months ago we talked about an issue with the engineering, and we delayed the building of the trusses. Last month I announced that that was all behind us, and the trusses were under construction. And now if you look around, you can see what 
uh, has happened. We're over 75% uh, up as far as the trusses. And we have this area over here yet to do. And I want to uh, squelch a couple rumors. One is that we built some structure uh, before the engineering was completed, and that's absolutely false. Nothing was built, nothing was wasted. The second rumor is that in the construction of this, that we put some things up out of sequence and had to take it down. I don't know where that rumor came from, but it's absolutely false. We are progressing very, uh, very, very well. A virus struck is doing an outstanding job of sequencing the uh, construction of the roof. We hope by March the 20th to be sealed and undercover. Nancy is now going to give you a sneak preview of what's going to happen inside here. Hi, I am standing in our new Vista room with the magnificent ceiling and the dance floor will be in the tile and it will also border our carpet in the pub. Our carpet has been custom designed to blend with all of the colors that we've chosen for the chairs, for the window treatments, uh, and our beautiful light fixtures are also uh, custom. The uh, whisper walls, acoustical walls, are all light in color so that this room with the windows and the extra window at the top is light and bright and brings great light into the room. If you can pan around, please, and look at the vista that we have, and you have the opportunity to go outside to sit in gathered groups among our planters, and it will be uh, outside furniture. You can sit there with a drink prior to coming in for dinner. So there are all sorts of wonderful things planned for this space. The uh, side walls, the ceilings actually, have been lowered just a bit so that it provides you with an intimate dining experience. And our water side room is to my left and it will be open for the big events so that we do not have to have anybody behind closed doors. So this is the first of what we hope will be several little insights into what's to come. So we're very excited about where we're going. Thank you. Now I'm gonna have Larry talk about some of the behind the scenes stuff that's gonna be in the building that we won't see and some of the features of the, of the building. We're outside right now of the building in the parking lot in front of the two water-cooled, uh, air-cooled air water chillers that will be providing chilled water to the chilled water coils that will provide the air conditioning to the inside of the building. These are 100 tons each. They will run parallel. One goes down, the other one will run. We'll never lose temperature below, uh, above 75 degrees inside of the clubhouse if one of those goes down. And they'll alternate in use. So one what doesn't run completely all of the time. These will soon be located on the east end of the clubhouse building on a concrete pad and that'll be the permanent location and they'll get piped in and run inside of the building. The next we'll go inside the building to look up at the mechanical penthouse and see the equipment. Well, you won't see the equipment, it's not there yet, but I'll tell you what equipment is going to be in there that will be providing uh, all the supply air and exhaust air from the main clubhouse. Now we're back inside of the, uh, the clubhouse. We're in the Vista dining room. Uh, above my head uh, is the mechanical penthouse that houses all of the equipment that uh, provides air to the club and then exhaust air from the club. That uh, penthouse runs over half the, the length of the, of the clubhouse. There are four rooftop supply units which hold the uh, cooling coils that provide the conditioned air to the entire club. There's four kitchen exhaust uh, makeup supply fans to supplies air back to the kitchen hoods. And there are five kitchen exhaust fans that exhaust the air 
from those kitchen hoods. There's two general exhaust fans, which are the restroom fans for the men's and ladies' restrooms in the main lobby. There's a prep fan that's for the prep area of the food kitchen in the pavilion area. And there's two dishwasher fans, one for each dishwasher, one in the main kitchen, one in the, uh, the pavilion area. Well, hopefully this has been informative for you to see how we are coming on the project. Our goal is to complete this building by September. We're still shooting for that and have no reason to believe we can't achieve that target. And one final thing, if you do hear rumors or you see something you don't understand, we as a total team are available. Ask any one of us and we'll get it clarified for you. Thank you very much. Thank you.